Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Tom Gomi, and today we are back once again for another Fortnite creative tutorial. Now, I did a modern mansion a few weeks back, and it got a really, really good reception. So we are here today for a second modern mansion. This one, of course, with a slightly different design, and this one's actually three floors tall. So, where do we begin? What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly over to this section over here, which has the materials you're going to need nicely laid out. We're going to go through each one, one by one. I'm going to list off the actual prefab that the item comes from, and I'm also going to put a picture on screen just to make it a tad more convenient. Now, just as a run through as to the ones we're going to need, we're going to need Castle Gallery B, Castle Tower Gallery, Office Gallery, Clock Tower Gallery, Modern House, and Cube Gallery. So in total, there are six different prefabs. Again, you can access the prefabs by going in your inventory. So if you're on console, I guess that would be by pressing up, up on the D-pad, and on PC, it would either be I or whatever you use for your inventory. So anyways, let's get to the actual part where we're going through each item. So the first one we're going to be using is this little brick door using the brown wood outline. And this is going to be from the office gallery. So once again, that's from the office gallery. Next to that, we have got a window version using the exact same pattern. Once again, that is from the office gallery. Next to this, we have this kind of little brick wall. Again, sandstone style texture. And this is from the castle tower gallery. Next to this, we have this door. So it's using the same sandstone wall kind of texture, but it has a physical door that you can open and close as you can uh, do in the game. And this is from the Clock Tower Gallery. Next to this, we have a little arch. Now you can use either one. There is a kind of more straight flat version, or you can use the curved one. Either works. And again, that is from the Office Gallery. So that is the Office Gallery. Next to this, we have this staircase. This is the one that has no barriers at the side, no handrails, and that's important because otherwise they will stick through the wall and it makes it uh, a little weird. It has kind of a little glitchy texture. Um, so we're going to be using the ones that don't have the railings, and this is from Castle Gallery B. Next to this is this white concrete pole or bollard or pillar, whatever you want to call it, and this is from the modern house, uh, so not the gallery but from the actual house, so you're going to have to spawn it in and then just grab it. It's a bit of a pain, but unfortunately the Modern House Gallery does not have this included. Next to this, we have two coloured cubes. So the first one is the white one, so that's this one on the left. And then to the right of this, we have the light grey one. So again, two cubes, white and light grey, so the top left and the one directly underneath it. Next to this, we have this kind of concrete wall and the corner pieces. These are both from the Clock Tower Gallery. Once again, that is the Clock Tower Gallery. The next piece is this kind of stone paved floor. This is once again from Castle Gallery B. Next to that is this tiled floor, a white tiled floor, uh, to uh, be more specific. And this is from the modern house, so again, same one as the pillar. I believe it is also in the modern house gallery. And next to this, we have this kind of black floor, and this is from the office gallery. So once again, that is the office gallery. So in total, you should have these items from the prefabs. Apologies if there's kind of a weird texture on the screen. I don't know what it is, but when I'm looking at it in game on the uh, monitor, there is kind of like this weird dotted texture. So if that is the case, again, apologies for that. And I'll try and figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, let's get straight into the tutorial. Just before the video starts, I want to do a quick little plug. If you do enjoy my content and want to support the channel, please consider using my support a creator code in the Fortnite item store. That is G-U-M-M-M. Why, why, why? So gummy with three M's and three Y's. This applies to all purchases on the item store. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me create more regular content for you guys to hopefully enjoy. So we're going to start off by grabbing ourselves our staircase. So the first step is grab yourself the staircase, find a nice empty space. Now, of course, I'm building this on the block. But if you're building it in the world, make sure you have a nice surrounding empty space behind and either side. Now, we're going to place one, unlike what I just did there, and this is going to be roughly the centre 
of the middle uh, of the front, should I say. So the middle part of the front. So you want to make sure, again, there's a gap either side. What we're then going to do is grab ourselves this plain kind of sandstone wall. And either side of it, we're going to place a wall. But we want to make sure that the, for some reason, <laughs> I'm not sure why my controller's disconnected there. There we go. So, uh, yeah, you want to make sure that the actual brick texture is on the outside and on the inside is this plain texture. So now you have a staircase with the white insides of the walls either side. So this is the first step. What we're then going to do is on the right side, we're going to grab ourselves the window with the brown wooden, uh, I guess, outline. And we're going to place one, two, three on the right side in line with this wall. And on the left side, we're actually going to go inwards one block and we're going to place one of this kind of sandstone brick wall. We're then going to place one window and then it's going to curve around to the left side. So right now, that is the front of the building. What we are going to do is in front of the uh, this area here, we're actually going to fill in a layer using our tiled blocks. So we're going to place a row of one, two, three. And again, that's going to act as a balcony. We're going to do something very similar on this side. But before we do that, we need to do the next layer. So for the next layer, starting on the left side, we're going to place one window. We're then going to place one wall. We're then going to grab ourselves a door. So again, this is the door with the out frame, uh, the outside frame being out of the dark wood instead of the one that you can physically open. Next to this, we are going to place a wall. We're then going to place another door and a wall. So right now, it should look something like this. So right now, the right side is a bit more busy than the left, but that will soon change in a minute. So again, if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. So for the next step that we're going to work on, we're going to quickly add an outline to this little balcony here. So we're going to grab ourselves the concrete wall, the big one, and we're going to do a little outline. So one, two, three, four, and then five. And then in each corner, the front left and the front right corner. So this one here and also the one right next to the stairs, we're going to place the corner blocks just to make it a little bit smoother. So right now, this is what the right side looks like. Now, putting a little bit of attention into the left side. For the left side, we are going to grab ourselves the light gray block. You want to make sure that drops are off. So again, drops off and you want to make grid snap on eight. So grid snap eight drops are off. What we're going to do is in this wall right next to the wall with the stairs in the center of it, we're going to place two blocks of light gray. Now you can work out the center roughly. So you can see here's a little gap on the left side, a little gap on the right side. So that's what I'm going to define as the center. What we're then going to do is we're going to build up. So it will vary based on how you place them. But if you place them right on top of each other perfectly, we are going to place two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So it's going to be 10 tall in total. Again, that may vary based on how you place them. But if you place them perfectly like this, it should be nine on top of the original one. So it'll be a 10 by two area. So what this is going to be is this is going to be a beam, which is going to split up the front side of the building. And it's going to link up on the roof to a beam on the left side of the building. And it's going to make it look a bit more interesting, give it a bit of a point of interest. So currently, this is what it looks like. The next step is going to be just as tricky. We're going to grab the white block. And when I say tricky, I mean more fiddly than I do actually mean tricky. So for this part, we are going to place it right in the corner. So the way we want to do it is so that it's not quite in the wall. The reason being because otherwise then it's going to appear on the inside, but also so that it's still going to be visible from the side. So a step to do probably first would be to come around to the side, place one window, and we essentially want to get the block right in the corner. So if I grab the block again, again, it's a bit, bit tricky. We're going to go for something that looks like this. So again, if you can get something like that, perfect. If not, as close as possible is ideal. So what we're going to do is on top of this, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, if it will let me, six, seven, eight, and then nine. 
So we're going to do it, whoops, one block above the actual top of the wall, as you can see, and it ends up looking something like this. Now, from here, we're going to build all the way to the right side, and again, this is a bit fiddly, it's a bit tedious, uh, but it makes it look really nice. So, you can see, it's just a case of building all the way across. Once you get to this point, it can be a, a tad of a nuisance um, with the grey blocks already there. If you come around to the rear side, it might make it a tad easier, but you want to make sure not to do what I've just done there, which is to place it on top of the grey block, because if you do that, it's going to mess everything up. You're going to have to delete a few things like I'm having to do now. So take a lesson from me and uh, be super, super careful. Do not rush place this. Make sure that it is indeed perfect. So you can see there, if you come around to the rear side, it is a tad easier than placing it from the front just because of the way the physics of the blocks work where if you're actually placing it on top of something or merging it, it's going to be a bit funny. Whereas if you come around to the rear side, where it's not actually merging, it's just kind of placing it with, uh, which is technically merging, but it's it's a slightly different way, it just makes it a bit easier. So whilst I was waffling a bit, <laughs> I've built all the way over to the right side, as you can see, so it gives you a solid strip of white. This is going to be the defining line of the top of the building. So again, if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. And what we're then able to do is start adding the balcony on the left side. So there's a lot of balconies on this building, but that's kind of part of the point. It is, of course, a mansion. So using the same material as we did on the left side, we're going to place one, two, three, like so. What we're then going to do is using the same walls, we do an outline. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then in both corners, front left and front right, we are once again going to add our little corner block which can, once again, also be a bit of a nightmare, but we got it there eventually. And hopefully this one won't be too problematic. There we go. So from above, it looks something like this. Now, the final thing we want to incorporate into this corner is we're going to add the little white beam or pillar. So grab yourself one of them, come to the left corner, and directly in the corner of this balcony, just place a beam like so. Now, of course, if you're on the block, it's not going to connect perfectly to the floor, which is kind of annoying, but you get the idea. It's just to add that sense of reinforcement, a sense of stability to the part of the building which would otherwise be hovering. Now, again, I don't know why this weird texture is appearing. I think it's a console thing because it wasn't actually doing it on PC uh, earlier when I was designing. So who knows? But apologies. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Essentially, that is the front of the house. Now, we're not going to be worrying about the third floor yet. We'll come back to that later on. For now, we're just worrying about the first two. So what we're now going to do is head around to the left side of the building and start making some progress there. So as you can see from where we left off, we have this one window. Next to the window, we are going to place... Whoops. We do not want to do that. We want to place one of our little sandstone walls. We're then going to place two of these arched uh, almost entrances, so two of them, and then we're going to place a wall. Now above this, from left to right, we're going to place a window, we're then going to place two doors, so this is kind of the handy part, once you get to this stage, you can just grab it from the build, and then a wall and a window. So right now, it looks something like this. What we're going to do is we're going to extend our balcony all the way to the left. So using this block or this floor pattern, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five blocks or uh, tiles over to the left. And we're going to expand our wall appropriately so it goes around the edge. And once again, add a corner one to the front left corner. So this little edge right there, go ahead and add a corner block. Just like we did on the other side, we're also going to add a pillar right in that uh, front corner. So you end up having something that looks like this. Now we are going to have to delete this one because we are going to add another beam here. So uh, we'll just delete this temporarily, just so we have some working space. And then we'll go about adding another beam. So just like we did at the front side, we're going to grab ourselves our light grey. We're going to come into the center of this wall, not placing in the wall, right in front of the wall. And we're going to place two of our light grey. So again, a little gap on the left, a little gap on the right. And we're going to build up nine. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So essentially it's two blocks taller than the building and that will make sense in a minute as two Y. So again, build up the right side to the exact same height. So it's a 10 by two rectangle. I do appreciate it is getting dark. So we will pause the video in a second and wait for it to go light just to make it easier for you guys to see. So essentially you can see it will be the, the exact same height as the front side. We're gonna replace the little balcony floor and the surrounding wall. And you see it's again, just a simple pillar going through the floor. So for a corner angle looks like this. Now, what we're gonna do is we can add the white beam. So this white beam is gonna go all the way across until this point here. So in between the two doors is where it's gonna finish. It's then gonna go up and form part of the third floor. So for now, what we can do is we can go one, two, three, four. If we go around to the rear side, again, little tip uh, when working with the front beam. Of course, it can still be a little tricky uh, and a little bit of the pain. So we'll just, we'll just delete that for now and then we'll just fill in the white and replace the gray afterwards. So again, over to the side. I stopped counting, which was probably a mistake, uh, but you'll know when you've hit that point. So you should get to a point one more uh, like this. So you're directly in between the two doors. So in terms of number, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And of course, the original block, like so. Go ahead and replace the light grey and you have something that looks like this. Now that beam is gonna go up and it's gonna form part of the third floor. So right here, what we're gonna do is above the door and the window, we're simply just gonna place two walls and then we're gonna build the white uh, block up. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four, and then extend over to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it ends up looking something like this. And that is the left side of the building complete. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause the video, of course, because it's getting extremely dark. I appreciate it's pretty difficult to see at this point. So I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back once it's a little bit lighter and we'll continue building. Okay, so continuing now, as I said before, this is the left side. We're gonna head round to the rear side of the build. So if we come around, what we're gonna start off by doing is from this side here, we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, and six of our sandstone walls. Now, of course, the rear side of the building is gonna be slightly more plain than the other sides, but of course, that's part of the point because you're not actually gonna see the rear side of the building. What you can do if you want to is you can expand the balcony and you can have it going all the way around the building. That makes it a bit more detailed, but again, might be a bit overkill. So that's up to you. You're more than welcome to do whatever you feel works best. For the second layer of the building, starting from the right side, we're going to place one window. We're then going to place one wall, two windows, one wall, and one window. So if I place a window, not a wall, there we go. That is the second layer of the rear side of the building complete. And the final layer, the top layer, very, very simple, is going to be six walls. And it ends up looking something like this. So right now, pretty plain. What we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our light grey blocks. And the fun of placing blocks continues. We're going to come to the areas which have these solid uh, plain areas of wall and we're gonna to come to the middle section, and same logic applies as before. We find the middle, we place two light gray, and we're gonna build up. This time it's gonna be slightly different because we're doing three floors rather than two. So this time we're gonna build up one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So it's 14 tall in total, exact same as on this side, we're gonna build up 13 and it's gonna give us a 14 tall area. So again, it can be a bit tricky. You can see right now that there's a bunch of visual glitches for me. So you can see it's like flashing. Of course, you've got like the weird grainy texture. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Maybe it's just something that happened in the update. But again, wanted to get this video out for you guys. So 
let's kind of just put up with it. So that is the first pillar done. Once again, that's a 14 by 2. Come over to the left side, and we're going to do the exact same. So on this section on the left side, the only section that is actually uh, just the plain wall, we're going to build all the way up until the top. Once again, it's going to be 14 in total, or 13 on top of the original. So it's going to be two taller than the actual top of the building, and it's going to curve in once we get to the top, and it's going to just be a little point of interest. So it's not going to be like the front side. The front side is going to be an actual kind of shape. With this, it's just going to be simple pillars, but it's just give a bit more shape to the building. So you can see here, almost done filling it in, and two more, and there we go. So once you've done that, it looks something like this. Now, what we're going to do, two things. The first one, slightly easier than the other. First one is we're going to grab ourselves the concrete walls, and in line with this row, which is going to build all the way across, and I still managed to mess it up somehow. There we go. So a solid row of walls, and that's just to split up the two first floors. And then for the second thing we're going to do, we are going to build, you probably guessed it, a solid row of white blocks all the way from the right side at the top to the left side. So once again, we have the joy of trying to merge the white blocks with the light grey. And it's actually, I was about to speak too soon now, I was about to say it's actually working out a bit easier this time. But you can see as soon as I went to say that, it got drastically more difficult. So again, this is always going to be the fun part. When I say fun, you uh, you know that's in a sarcastic way. And it's it's uh, it's just essential. <laughs> because without this, it's going to look kind of plain, and it's not going to have the shape we're looking for. So whilst it is tedious, I appreciate that. Whilst it is a complete pain, it is really, really important. And if you look at the build without them, you'll notice why. It just gives it a whole modern look, makes it look a little less, I know it sounds weird, makes it look a little less blocky. <laughs> it just, just gives it a bit more kind of free shape. So that's the idea behind that. Once again, once you've done it, fill in the light greys you had to destroy, and that is the rear side of the building. So again, we are making really, really good progress. So if you want to pause, once again, now is a good time to do so. And then we're going to move on to the rear side, oh sorry, the uh, right side. We've already done the rear side. So let's head around to the right side of the building. So the right side currently looks something like this. What we're going to start off by doing is we are going to grab ourselves our walls. And on the bottom floor, we're going to place one, two, three, four, a five, and a six of our sandstone walls. On the second floor, we leave the first one because it's part of the balcony. We're then going to place two walls. We're then going to place a window. We're going to place a wall. And then we're going to place a window. On top of this, we are going to leave one. So we leave the first one here. And then we're going to place one, two, three, and four walls, like so. In case you thought the fun hadn't ended, we're going to grab ourselves our light grey blocks. And in between the two windows here, we're once again going to do another one of our classic 14 by 2 pillars. This is, luckily, the last main pillar. And then the only other stage is we've just got to bring them together on the top, uh, which isn't the most difficult thing in the world. So again, just another pillar, 14 tall in total, 13 on top of the original blocks, 2 above the top of the building. Exact same for the second row. And then, as I said, that is that part complete. Once we've done this, we're also going to do what we did on the rear side with the concrete walls. So if I can actually place the blocks properly, uh, we're going to go around the edge in between the first and second layer with our concrete walls and just split it up to give it a bit of a more, uh, I guess, interesting look. So again, grab yourself some concrete walls and you're just going to do a solid row all the way across. And in this corner, you want to make sure to have a corner block, exact same as the other rear side, which I'll have to go around in a second and do, because I completely forgot about it. So again, for some reason, this can be a bit tricky, not sure why, and uh, that one already had it, so perfect. So if we come back around to the right side of the building, it currently looks something like this. 
the fun of blocks continues. So from this white block here, we are going to go one, two, three, whoops, and four over to the side. This one's being a bit of a pain for some reason. There we go. From here, we're going to go up one, two, three, four, and we're going to link it up to the right side, right on over there by building across. Of course, I'm not going to count this because it doesn't matter how many you place, as long as you get from the left side to the right side, that's great. I don't really care how you do it. So again, it's the usual. You might have to break a block or two of the gray. You might not, as you saw there, I got lucky. So it's a bit hit and miss. It is what it is. So there we go. That is what the shape should look like. As you can see, it wraps around the top of the building on the right side, and that is the right side of the building complete. So what we're going to focus on now is actually the roofs, because of course there is technically two. Uh, so there's balconies, roof one, and then roof two. So for roof one, we are going to grab ourselves this four by four tiled block. We're going to do a solid layer of four by four tile blocks on top of the second, uh, I guess, floor of the building. So it's the floor directly below the top of this area here. So just fill it in all solid using this. You can change it up if you want to have a different floor, but it makes your life a lot easier if you don't. So bear that in mind. What we're going to do is we'll get ourselves our sandstone walls and we're going to come to the left side next to this white wall, uh, white pillar, should I say, that we've placed. We're going to place one, two, three of our sandstone walls, then go two forwards to the right and then one, two, three over to the right side. And it gives you a shape that looks like this. This is gonna be the third floor of the building. Now in this area, we can go ahead and add a roof. So again, this is gonna have the four by four tiled roof. So go ahead and get that out the way. Again, each floor is of course gonna be one, uh, I guess, tile tool just to fit in with the Fortnite theme. So it ends up looking something like this. In terms of the perimeter here, I chose to not go with the white blocks because I felt it'd be too bulky. So what I decided to go with is the concrete walls. So if you just add the concrete walls around the edge, you're going to need to add a corner block in that one right there. But apart from that, it's very, very simple to add. And I think personally, it looks pretty decent. Now, of course, the one thing that people are probably asking is why does the top floor not have any windows? And that's a good question. I felt that if I put it on the front side, it would make it overwhelming. I thought on the rear side, it kind of clustered it a bit. So I thought maybe the idea of the top floor could be that it's just like an attic or something like that. But again, that's up to you. You are more than welcome to add anything that you feel will make it look better, whether that's windows. You could even add like an outside pool here. I had a thing where I was looking at the devices and if you added the actual ice block, it kind of looks like a pool, low key. So if you want to do that, feel free to do that. But anyways, before we get to talking about adding stuff onto the balconies and all that kind of joy, uh, we're going to talk about the beam that goes from here to here. So the way we're going to link this together is we are going to build on the inside one, one, two, three, whoops, four, five, if I can place it, and six over to the side, and we're going to build it one, and again, I messed it up. So one, two, three, four, five forwards. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double it up in terms of height and width. So we build one block down and we're also gonna build one block to the side so that it's two blocks thick, both in height and in width. So you can see here, I'm just going around the edge and extending it out one block doesn't really matter if you've got it perfect you can see there there's a gap doesn't matter that much as long as you get to the point where it is two blocks thick so as you saw there I'm just crossing over blocks just to make it faster and if I can actually do it which is proving difficult there we go and then over to the side and then we're just going to add a second layer so again this is one of those things that it's just a small detail but once you look at it from the front of the building, it makes it look, it gives it a bit more shape, makes it look a bit more interesting. So once I've done this, I'm going to back up, show you what it looks like. And of course, I mess up the last block, 
twice. There we go. So as you can see, it gives this kind of cut out in the front corner of the building. I personally really like it. If you don't, you're more than welcome to change it. So that is the more difficult part complete. Before it gets dark real quick, what I'm going to do is the little features on the roof because these are very, very simple. So for each one, we are going to build it forwards. One and two. We're then going to bring it down. So again, using the same logic. And we're going to double it up in width. So simply bring it forwards two and then down. So forwards one, two, and down, and then forwards one, two, down and then for the final one once again forwards one two one two and then down and finally down so there you go these ones are kind of more just little uh, additions onto the roof little beams whereas that one's more of a defined shape on the front these you can link together if you want to I thought it'd be one, quite time consuming to do that, but also two, maybe a bit too much. There's there's a limit as to how much you actually want to add, whether you want to make it kind of a little detail or you want to make it the center of attention. So it's a fine balance you need to strike. Personally, I think this works pretty well. The other thing you could do is you could add some of the uh, utility stuff, which is found in some of the lucky landing uh, and also some of the shops. So like the little ventilation fans and stuff, you could put those on the roof and it could be quite interesting. And alternatively, you could just add some like deck chairs and stuff, put some stairs up here and you're also a good one with that. So in terms of the building, that is the main building complete. What I'm going to be doing for this next segment, once it goes light again, is adding some details to the, or should I say not details, but telling you about the different floors to use and then making some suggestions about details such as interior and stairs. Of course, I'm not going to be doing interior in this video. If you do want a video about that, please let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you once the sun has risen. Okay, so for the final step, as I mentioned before, we're going to be adding the floors and also the little interior of the garage. So starting off with the garage, what we're going to do is come around to the left side to this section here. As you can see, we have kind of this wide open space at the moment. What I'm going to do is kind of divide it up as to what's going to be the garage and what's going to be the ground floor of the building. So starting off, grab yourself a wall. If you come inside the first arch, to the left of this, we're going to place one wall. We're going to leave one. We're going to place a wall. And then to the left, one, two, three walls. So essentially, it gives you a kind of rounded off shape like this. What we're going to do is grab ourselves the door inside the wall so this is the one that you can physically open and in said gap we're going to place ourselves the door so this is going to be the access from the house to the garage itself now in the garage the flooring we're going to be using is this black kind of tiled floor if you want to change that you're more than welcome to do so i also tend to extend it about two blocks outside of the building just to make it obvious it's kind of a drive into the garage and once you fill it all in it will look something like this. In terms of the actual floor inside the house, as I've done on the actual other floors, we're going to go ahead and fill that in with this 4x4 tiled block. Once again, you can change it if you want, but the reason I like this block in particular is because if you look at the ceiling, it has a nice ceiling texture. It has something that actually looks like something you would have featured in a house, whereas uh, some of the other tiles carpets whatever you want to call them they look great on the top but once you actually flip them over not so much so again come down to the basement do the exact same generally speaking the basement you can have whatever because the floor is going to be one-sided you're not going to be using one of the sides as a roof so with the basement you get a little bit more freedom but seeing as I'm keeping the others all one block, I'm going to keep this all one block. What we're also going to do is put a wall directly behind the staircase. It will kind of glitch through a tiny bit, but it's just so you don't see the back of the staircase. So you've got one floor here. So that is the first floor slash basement. You've then got your garage. You then have got your first floor or your second floor, however you want to define it, which is this one right here. You've got your next floor, which again is the plain one that has no windows. So, as I said, um, I'm not going to talk about stairs or anything in this. It's very, very easy. Uh, for example, the Blue House Prefab has a really good staircase. 
and it's a wooden one you can just place it anywhere within the room between the three floors so again it's very simple i'll leave that up to you guys the one thing that i will go over just before we wrap up the video is the uh i was about to say flab the slab uh that we're going to place around the outside so again this is going to be the little kind of concrete slabs which i found in the castle gallery b uh, i believe it's called which is the one of course which is used from the haunted hills uh set now again generally speaking i like to make it too thick and just do a solid layer around the house and uh yeah once you've done that that is pretty much the mansion you are more than welcome to add whatever you want to do in terms of furnishing if you do furnish it and uh, you do a really nice job, feel free to send me a picture on Twitter at Gummy Bear Games. So once again, that is at Gummy Bear Games on Twitter. Please just send me a picture if it's a really good job. I can show it off on a video or alternatively, again, I can just see it and see what you guys are doing with the builds. So either way, I'd love to see what you do. And uh, yeah, apart from that, that is the tutorial complete. So this is the second mansion we have done on the channel. If you haven't already seen the first, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. So feel free to go and check that out. Then uh, a very compact design with a garage included. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So feel free to check it out. In terms of this video, if you did enjoy, a like would be very much appreciated. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing and turning notifications on so you actually get updated every time I upload. Or follow me on Twitter at Going Bear Games. I tweet out every time I upload if you don't trust YouTube, and frankly, I don't blame you. Final little plug, again, if you're playing Fortnite, and of course, if you're building this, I assume you are, if you purchase anything in the store that includes battle passes, skins, emotes, anything whatsoever in the store, please consider using my supporter creator code. Again, I know it's like a million YouTubers out there that have them. I understand you want to support your favorite. But if you appreciate this work, again, my support creator code is GUMMY. So that is G-U-M-M-M-Y-Y-Y. So it's more like GUMMY rather than GUMMY. Uh, so three M's and three Y's. And again, I get a, a tiny, tiny share. But you think if a lot of you do it, it really does add up and helps me do this as a full time job whilst at university. So again, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, if you don't want to do that, just tune in for the next video and I'll see you then. So apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tom Gummy. Leave your comments, uh, ideas, suggestions down below. And uh, yeah, thank you and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light